All right, this is uh, part two on section 5.1. Uh, I'm just going to continue with two additional uh, derivative examples. This one uh, involves an implicit derivative. Um, like the previous video, I want to simplify my expression as much as possible, if I can. Um, I notice that inside this logarithm, I'm multiplying x squared times y. And I'm going to use this property that says I can add individual logarithms. That will make it um, somewhat easier. So. I'm going to write this as ln of x squared plus ln of y plus the remainder of the problem, which is 3x equal to uh, to 50. All right. From there, I'm going to actually go ahead now and take my derivative. So this is the derivative now of this side, and let me put the derivative over here on this side of 50. All right, so derivative property, or the derivative says uh, u prime over u. So this is going to be the derivative is going to be um, 2x over x squared plus the derivative now of ln of y is going to be 1 over y. Because it's implicit, it's going to be times um, dy dx. The derivative, oops, plus not an equal sign. The derivative of a 3x is just going to be a 3 and this constant, this derivative is going to be equal to 0. Now you might be thinking, okay, why didn't I simplify this over here? Why didn't I put this 2? And the reason is because as I was doing it, I didn't think about it. But you could have done that. What I mean by that is, I could have simplified this even further by doing the x1 property. So this is ln of x squared. So I can bring this exponent, this squared, in front, and I could have wrote this as 2 ln of x plus ln y plus 3x. And then 50. Well, if I would have done that, I would have got 2 times the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x plus 1 over y dy dx plus uh, 3 is equal to 0. So you might be thinking, how is that different than what I got? Well, see how I have this 2? And I have this x over x squared. That reduces to just uh, 2 over x. Meaning that, because I forgot to do this logarithm property, because I forgot to bring this 2 in front, I had to reduce which in this case wasn't so bad, but in future cases it might you know, make things a little bit more complicated. Alright, so I forgot to do this logarithm property, but because it wasn't too difficult, I'll be able to simplify and no harm, no foul. Alright, so continuing with the problem. Uh, 2 over x plus, this is going to be 1 over y, um, dy dx plus uh, 3 is equal to 0. And if you remember the uh, general strategy is you want to uh, isolate dy dx, or you want to start moving non-dy dx things over. So 1 over y um, dy dx is equal to, I'm going to make this uh, positive 3, move it over by making it negative. I'm also going to subtract over um, 2 over x. And the opposite of um, 1 over y is going to be multiplying both sides by y, so it's going to be y times this, and y times all of this to reduce. So, my derivative, my dy dx, is going to be... Now, because I'm multiplying every term by uh, y, I'm going to distribute, so it's going to be negative uh, 3y minus 2y over x, and that's your answer for number three. All right. The last example is going to be finding the relative extrema to uh, x squared ln of x. So relative extrema, you should know it, you know, forwards and backwards by now. That's going to be finding the uh, first derivative and doing the uh, first derivative analysis. Um, f prime of x is going to be, uh, this requires the uh, product rule. 
So the product rule on this is going to be keep x squared the same. Derivative of ln is 1 over x. So let's keep ln of x the same. Derivative of x squared is 2x. And then reducing from here. This reduces completely. So what I have is x plus 2x ln of x. A semi-derivative equal to 0, so I want to find the uh, critical point. I have a, a common term of uh, x that I can factor out. So it's going to be 1 plus uh, 2 ln of x. So my uh, critical points are going to be uh, x is equal to 0. And then when I solve this one, 1 plus 2 ln of x is equal to 0. I want to isolate ln, so I'm going to subtract the 1 over. Divide both sides by a 2. And now to undo an ln, because I want to get x by itself. To undo ln, you have to take e to both sides. So e raised to this side and e raised to that side. This cancels it out. So my other critical point, it's going to be e to the uh, negative 1 half. All right. So from here, I'm going to either do the first derivative test or the second derivative test. So based on these being my critical point, um, what I want you guys to do for tomorrow is to figure out which one of these is a max, which one of these is a minimum. So I'll be checking your guys' uh, notes, and I want to see you guys doing either the first derivative test or the second derivative test to figure out which is the max, which is the minimum and finding the x and the y coordinates. Alright, so I'll put relative max. I'll be looking for your ordered pair and relative min. And see what you guys uh, come up with. Alright, and uh, that's all.